Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new video. And it's been a while since I recorded anything for this channel. Simply because, uh, well, I've been a little bit disconnected from the game, mainly because they removed Deadman mode pretty much. So that was like my main thing. My main passion for this game was competing. Um, and on top of that, I was also moving. So I had a bunch of in real life things uh, kind of coming at me at the same time like I finished my studying uh, I had to move at the same time and then I had a bunch of internet issues and then a bunch of in real life stuff that you probably do not care about but anyways some people were concerned so I did want to uh, let everyone know that I am okay it's just a little bit uh, of a rough period in my life at the moment but that is not the point of the video. The point of today's video is to talk about unofficial clients. And we got a new blog post that we're going to just go through on today's video. So without further ado, I guess let's just go through the blog post. All right, here we go. Another message about unofficial clients. Now, if you guys remember, just before RuneFest, we had like a pretty big riot when the third party clients were really pushing themselves to the limits and people really started complaining about them because it was honestly quite ridiculous. Just to name a few problems that occurred back then, blackjacking NPCs with literally just left clicks. We could um, do like bones on altar with pretty much one click and then construction hotspot with pretty much one click and then... Back then, Jagex already put this statement out. It was a message about unofficial clients. Well, today they do a follow-up to that and we get to see more in specific exactly which, fe which features you shouldn't be using because if you use them, you are most likely going to be banned. And uh, let's be serious, right? Most of us, we, we don't, we don't want to be banned, right? Um, now, very quickly, I think those might actually be perma bans, but at first I'm pretty sure they're gonna be like a two day bans or three day bans. I don't think Jagex is gonna go instantly perma, perma banning people for still using these features, because obviously not everyone goes around and reads the blog post and watches the streams and whatever. But if you are seeing this video, stop doing it, it's not worth the risk. And uh, yeah, let's just go through specifics, see exactly which things you cannot use. So let's start at the beginning and see exactly which features are unacceptable. So those are going to get you banned. Uh, any feature that indicates where projectiles will land. Any feature that indicates the time where a boss mechanic may start or end. Any feature which adds additional visual, visual or audio indicators of a boss mechanic. So for example, stuff that is going to be showing you, I, I don't know, how many times Hydra is going to hit you or how many times you need to pray in gauntlet before you switch any of those add-ons you should not use indicates what prayers to use in what order for example in the cerberus boss fight you know right now if you go in the cerberus i don't know if runelight already updated but you had on the nice little bottom right corner of your screen unless you change it to a different position it literally showed you what to pray well you can no longer use that so that's pretty cool now you're gonna actually have to watch the ghosts indicates players in an opposing clan in pvp thank fuck a lot of people were using clans that could literally right click tag a person in the opposing clan so everybody with the client could attack that one person so that was huge i obviously do not know how they're gonna know who is still using those clients um but i think it's best that we don't know because else they are gonna go around it or whatever but i really hope they're gonna like hard enforce this one this one is huge help you to know when to flinch your opponent okay indicates how long an opponent is frozen for that's also for the PvP. A lot of people, even in Deadman Mode Tournament, for example, used clients that showed you how long someone will be frozen for. Um, very, very broken, but a lot of people used it. And uh, I'm very happy to see this one gone. I'm, but, but there's no Deadman Mode now, so... Feels bad, man, but hopefully when Deadman Mode comes back, people can't use that, and that's gonna be huge. Then any feature which automatically informs you where or where not to stand in a boss fight, also gone. So that was pretty much a Zoldra plugin for, I think, Runelight Plus had it. Um, probably for some other monsters as well, but I just remember the Zolra one. And then makes it easier to target 3D entities with a spell by removing some options. I don't exactly know what this refers to, but okay. Any feature which indicates which player an NPC is focused on. Um, I did not know that that was a thing. Any feature that indicates who dropped items, loot will appear for everyone. Oh, when? When dropped items and loot will appear for everyone. So I guess timers, stuff like that. Any feature that indicates multi-combat zone, multi zone boundaries. Oh, shit. So, a lot of clients had, you know, the nice little line that showed exactly where single and multi is. Well, those are now uh, not allowed anymore. Any feature that indicates whom your opponent's opponent is in PvP. 
Okay, I don't exactly know what that is. I guess this is just that one PvP client that a lot of people use that was really broken. I've never obviously tried it, so I guess this all refers back to that. And then any feature that indicates which play player to use in any combat situation. Obviously, this one's huge. And then can unhide, hide, move, or resize interface components on the prayer and spellbook interfaces oh i saw a streamer right i was chilling watching twitch i saw a streamer that had a barrage through half of his screen i was laughing so hard i think shawnee tweeted about it i was laughing so hard the man had like if we can imagine hold on i'll literally log in just to show that man's was was pk right and his barrage was literally if this is my inventory, this is my spellbook, his barrage was like this big. It was like half of his spellbook, it was fucking hilarious. But obviously that is no longer allowed, which is obviously awesome. Then any, any feature that offers additional information about other players with the purpose of scouting PvP targets, also bannable, very nice. Uh, any feature that gives summary information about a group of players, such as how many players are attackable and not in your CC. Oh, a lot of people were using those scouting bots is what they, or what we... Uh, would call them and uh, basically clans would have those scouting bots and they would log in in areas usually ref caves and Instantly scout the area see combat levels of people and assume their risks So for example, it would be let's say I am PKing in ref caves scout bot would log in and what scout bot would say Mika one two six and then for example 600k risk or something like that um, It was really broken. I don't know how those bots worked, but uh, I guess that's pretty much, uh, you know, uh, bannable now. I mean, they were bots at first place. I'm pretty sure those weren't manual players. Um, so I don't know why this is here. But, I mean, I guess that kind of falls under third-party clients. Fair enough. Uh, um, any feature that removes um, or deprioritizes attack. Cast a similar option from the mini menu. Okay, I don't know what that is. From mini menu in any scenario. Not quite sure. Any option that removes dead NPC entities or the minimap menu op op option from them. Wait, what? Okay, so those are such niche uses that I don't actually know, like, an example for this. Removes dead NPC entities or the mini menu option. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Removes or deprioritizes attack, cast or similar options from the menu. Okay. Uh, removes dead NPC entities or the mini menu. I don't know what mini menu options are. Uh, so I guess those are very specific. I can't really find uh, an example for those. If you guys know of an, of an example of any of that, do let me know in the comments. Uh, I will be reading through those. Anything that reorders, moves, or recites as prayers or spells. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. So Runelight already fixed this. You see? You can no longer uh, reorder prayers. Yep. You see? Reorder prayers is no longer a thing. So Runelight is already... You know, stepping up their game. Let's see if there is still a menu. Oh, shit. There's still menu entry swapper. Okay. So that's still... Okay, don't get me banned. That is still a thing. Do not use this. It will get you banned. But they removed the prayer reorder, which is pretty, pretty big. Uh, but how the fuck will I PK now? I'm, I guess I'm just gonna have to get used to it. Because I was one of those people that moved their prayers. My... Augury was always where my Mystic Might is, and my Rigor was always where my Eagle Eye was. Uh, I can no longer do that now, so I'm gonna have to relearn my muscle memory to pray here and here. So that's gonna be interesting, um, but very important one, in my opinion, to, to you know, uh, to consider here. Very good. Reveals the maze layout in the... Uh, oh, Solisek boss. Boss in Theater of Blood. You know, the Hellhound or the Cerberus-looking boss in the theater? A lot of people had climbed that literally showed them the path to go, which was lame. Now you can no longer use that. That is perfect. And then anything that adds additional menu entries, which cause actions to be sent to the server. Don't know what that is for. Modify the menu options of worn or, or equipped items. Uh, not quite sure. If I could find an example for that one either, but I mean, I guess you can't do that. Modifies menu options for blackjacking, and here it is again. The one where people would literally... Oh, okay, so when it says modifies, it's pretty much just left-clicking. Left-clicking something, and, you know, it's... I guess... I mean, it stands for here, because you could left-click blackjack, and you would always blackjack. It was, like, really insane. Sometimes you would knock, and then other times you would blackjack. It was so broken. Um, a lot of people actually abused this one. Uh, now it's gonna get you banned, though, so don't do it.
And then anything that modifies menu options for construction, such as prioritizing. Okay, so this is basically the same thing as they said on the first message. If we look here, um, you know, it's basically they're just repeating this. Uh, and then modifies many options for pickpocketing, such as swapping pickpocket and talk to, yep. Reorder or move player-based options, such as trade with. Okay, I didn't know that was actually a thing. Anything that offers world interaction in any detached camera mode. Okay, so that was, um, that I think this one is for the agility in the... Um, I think you could play pretty much in 2D and spam click a spot and you would get agility XP in the Monkey Madness 2 caves. I might not be correct with that one but i think this is what that is here for maybe some other options as well that i don't like think of the top of my head and anything that allows you to prioritize the walk here options by holding a certain key or similar okay so we basically went through them all um that is very nice to see that is very in-depth as well so uh if you guys once again are using any of these features do stop you should not be using them, it's gonna get you banned. And as you can see, any features which act similarly to those described in the above list can also be considered unacceptable. And as we, as we became aware of features, we reserve the right to add features to this list in the future. Okay, so they're gonna be adding things here if they find them. Uh, and they say they will continue to work with players and developers alike in order to make it perfectly clear what is acceptable and what is not acceptable. So they do not wish to unfairly punish anybody, but we, they will take necessary action in in order to protect their position. Um, so this includes banning accounts with, which use these features as, um, as well as taking action against those who develop and share such features. So if you are a developer of a client that has any of these features, they're probably gonna take legal action which is the correct way to go about this actually. So that is very promising to see and I'm uh, very happy that that is the decision they went in. So um, I think with that being said, uh, I mean, there, there's still some, they still say that they they will soon be formalizing this stance in the official rules of RuneScape and they will be actively improving their capability to detect these features. Um, okay, so with that being said, we pretty much covered everything I wanted to cover in this video. Um, hopefully, I could, um, I don't know, uh, save some of you from being banned. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys weren't too lonely without me. I know this is a pretty... Uh, low quality video, but I honestly just wanted to record something. It's been so long since I recorded and at this point I'm honestly just pretty hyped for leagues um, Because at that point I think is when I'm gonna truly return to RuneScape because I'll have something that I will really look forward to and Grind and actually like produce content about because right now I'll be honest I've been a little bit burned from the game I've been playing a bunch of COD a bunch of league if you guys want to see any of that my second channel is a thing that you can obviously go ahead and watch I'll leave the links once again in the description but with that being said thank you very much for watching I do wish you all a wonderful day and uh thank you for sticking with me boys have a good one and uh bye bye